Okay, um, my name is Mark. Uh, I get a lot of questions and comments about djembe playing because um, I use it a lot in my videos. I just kind of wanted to clear up some questions and maybe um, demonstrate some things on the djembe so maybe you all can, can use the same instrument in your videos. It's a really nice instrument, has an amazing resonant low tone, um, and I play it a lot like I would a drum set but it allows you to do it um, in a much more mellow setting. I use it a lot in bookstores and, and, and small type of gig settings in a lot of my videos. So I just kind of want to show you how I use the djembe. I use it a lot like a drum set, and that's kind of how I think. Now it is native to Africa and is actually carved completely out of wood, out of a tree trunk. Um, but anyway, I'll just show you kind of how I, my take on the djembe and what it what it is. So with a drum set we have a, a various different array of sounds and timbres starting with the bass drum. And what I like to do on the djembe is just hit the center of the head and you'll get a nice sort of low resonant sound. And when I'm doing that I'm using the cushion of my hand sort of the outside of the palm so I cup it almost to avoid getting the hard part of the hand in. We get a nice soft resonant sound. Um, and then we have uh, a snare drum sound on a drum set. Also on a, a djembe you have that snare sort of more accented sound. Um, and for that you take that same part of the cushion of the hand and back it up toward the rim of the drum. And with the same hand motion, it's not even harder, not any less hard or more hard. We get that higher, more accented sound. So we get the bass drum and the snare drum. If you wanted to do more of a hip hop type of snare, you just set down your hand, same stroke, you get a shorter kind of sound. So we've got two basic sounds and I'm calling them the bass drum and the snare drum. We've got the djembe player would call them a, a bass tone and an open tone. Okay, so and, you know, various other different things you can do with the djembe. Um, maybe the hi-hat in a drum set you would call is what I would use my left hand for. And it's basically uh, what a percussionist would call grace notes. And you're just sort of filling in the space between the bass drum and the snare drum or the bass and the accents, whatever you want to call them. Um, and you get that kind of hi-hat sort of sound in your fingers, okay, and just lighter motion, okay. So if I was moving in a 16 note pattern, I could and so that hand pattern alone, it stays the same, but you get that sort of hi-hat um, sort of interpretation. So you're basically filling the empty space. And so a lot of times what I like to do is add some, um, I guess a snare drummer would call it a rough it's, it's kind of like a pickup sort of grace note to um, your bass drum or uh, your snare drum. It's almost like a, a double bass player would hear on the drum set. And it's just two fingers that kind of give a, a pickup to the bass. And you're just adding two fingers or to the snare drum. Gives it a little more uh, flavor, uh, depending on the tune you're using it for. And so, same kind of pattern. Then I'll add that rough or double bass kind of thing with my finger. So, you know, have fun. Have fun with the djembe, that's how I use it, and um, I hope you can have some fun with it. You can get real creative with those those fingers, adding in some, some roll type things. And you know, it adds, it adds a nice simple effect to a tune and um, it gives you a lot um, for the money. I mean, you know, one instrument and you can open it up as if it was a real drum set. Some people will add a hi-hat to their djembe playing, another simple thing to do, but you know, you can do a million different things with it, and that's why I use it a lot. So hope that helps anyone who had any questions. Have fun with the, uh, with the djembe.